What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Madden 19 Ultimate Team. I have a good one for you guys today, as we are going to continue to pick things right back up from where we left off in the last episode. Now, you guys know last time we did make some changes to our offense with our new quarterback and running back duo, Russell Wilson and Alvin Kamara. I think they're great additions to the team. However, I do want to kind of get Kamara going a little bit more in today's episode. Hopefully, we can see some bigger plays from him, because we really didn't get a whole lot out of him from the last episode when we debuted him. But as we go ahead and over to our defense, this is where all of our changes will be coming from today mainly from our secondary outside of one position so if we go ahead and look at things of course we got to get ourselves two new safeties both are free and strong safety the starters we got to get a new right outside linebacker the only position that's not of the secondary of course as well as a backup right outside linebacker and then we need to get ourselves two new corners at the number two and the number three now the original players you know at our free safety and strong safety the original starters Glover Quinn and DJ Swearinger they have been both bumped down to the secondary position so they're going to be behind the new starters that we get of course like I said got to get our new right outside linebacker we originally had Terrell Suggs at that position. And then for our corners, we're going to keep Jalen Ramsey. Obviously, this guy's not leaving the team. And I did decide to keep him as the number one corner, not the number two. I, I was debating between that, but I kind of want to keep him as the number one for now. And then our original corners, Jason Brett and Tavon Young, both have been bumped down two spots from where they originally were. Jason Brett was the number two. He's now the four. Tavon Young was the three. He is now sitting as our number five corner. So jumping right into it, our first player we're going to be bringing to our team. We're heading over to the ultimate kickoff sets where we have this 90 overall Casey Hayward. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably brought these kickoff players uh, a long time ago, you know, when they first were brought into the game. But between all those rewards that you got from the solo challenges, you basically got one of those 90 overall players for free completing the set for it. And obviously, my choice was the 90 overall Casey Hayward. So he is going to be lined up next to Jalen Ramsey as the number two corner. And you guys see the stats, 86 speed, 90 man coverage, and 93 zone. Now, next to him is going to be this guy in our number three cornerback position. And uh, obviously, I, I kind of just spoiled what position our mystery player is going to be, but it, it really does doesn't matter because you guys are all really good at guessing the mystery player or unless I'm just bad at making the filters or something like that I don't know but of course all you guys got it right obviously this is going to be 88 overall team diamond Shredavious White so shout out to those of you guys who were able to guess this correctly because a lot of you guys were able to and as you guys can see Shredavious White stats right now he does have 85 speed 89 man coverage 88 zone and 87 press so I think he will do very good as our slot cornerback and in case you guys are wondering how I did acquire this card of course I went ahead and I did complete the Bills team in the diamond set as I want to, you know, try and eventually make some progress or at least make a shot towards getting that Ronnie lot. I know we're a, a long ways away, but hopefully we can get it done. But there you guys have it. There are our two new corners lined up next to Jalen Ramsey. I think uh, our, our corners look really nice now. And of course, I did add the lockdown chemistry times two on both of our new corners. So next up, let's head up to our safety position where we are going to be going ahead and getting 88 overall core elite Harrison Smith for 120,000 coins. I'm really excited about getting this guy on my team, man. I, I'm a kind of a fan of Harrison Smith. I'm not going to lie. I do like him, so I'm excited about bringing him into our team. And you guys can see his stats. He has 81 speed, 89 zone coverage, and 85 hit power. But you guys already know what I like to do with my players. I like powering them up. So, of course, I went out there, got this 68 overall power-up card, went ahead, used my training points, combined these two cards together, and the end result is obviously going to be Harrison Smith powered up to now an 89 overall. And the card art looks absolutely sick. I think it looks really good. And one more look at the stats for you guys. I mean, it only went up about plus one in every single one of those stats, which now does mean he has 90 zone coverage so I think he's going to be great up at our free safety so next up is obviously going to be the other side our strong safety which this is a uh, once again something you guys probably completed like your first or second week of playing ultimate team this year I'm pretty slow at my solos this year I'm not gonna lie I haven't even done my journey solos yet like I'm definitely slacking on them but you guys know the deal here we got our campaigns campaign solo challenges and after you completed a bunch of them you got those campaign tokens where you get to go ahead and choose a between an offensive or defensive player and in those two offensive and defensive player choices that you have there was one of five choices and for the defense you guys are seeing it Joey Bosa Telvin Smith uh Deion Jones Cam Chancellor and I already forget the other one it was Marcus Peters yeah that was it so obviously like I said we're getting ourselves a strong safety so you guys probably already knew that it was going to be Cam that I was choosing to bring to our team 82 speed 86 zone coverage and 91 hit power for Bam Bam Cam in I definitely miss him it kind of sucks that he's retired and out of the league but at least they still have him an ultimate team so it's going to be good to have Cam back on our team playing at strong safety and there you guys have it there is our secondary of officially done I think uh I think things look really good right now so I'm excited to see what these guys can do on the field and then last but not least 
we have to go out and get ourselves two new right outside linebackers a starter and a backup position now you guys know we did have Terrell Suggs as our starter and he's uh he's still gonna stay as our starter except we're gonna go out there and get his new upgraded card which is the veteran so he's an 86 overall you guys do see the stats but of course we're not stopping there you guys know the deal I went out got the 68 power-up card we already had his core elite because obviously he was the starter for our team doing all the combinations right here we're mixing these cards together and obviously the end result is going to be my boy T sizzle powered up to now an 87 overall I think the card looks absolutely sick we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his stats now while he does have 73 speed 88 block shed 89 power move and 86 strength they're my boy T sizzle 87 overall he will be our starter and backing him up is gonna be this guy Jadeveon Clowney now unfortunately we're not gonna be maxing this card out all the way to you know like his core lead or team diamond even eventually we might do that but as for now I just went ahead and used all of my training points that I could possibly get him all the way up to the highest tier which was tier number eight and that puts him as an 85 overall backing up my boy Terrell Suggs if we look at his stats he is 79 speed 84 block shedding 87 power move and 81 finesse move as well as 85 play recognition so Jadeveon Clowney is going to be the number two our 87 Terrell Suggs will be our new starting right outside linebacker and there you guys have it there are going to be all of the new additions for our defense and I think things are, uh, are looking pretty nice I'm not going to lie but if you guys do go ahead take your attention to the right hand side of the screen there you guys will see I do actually have lockdown chemistry up to tier number four right now which means all of the cards that do have that you know little shield emblem with the LD next to it meaning lockdown all of those guys are going to be getting a plus two in catching play recognition man coverage and zone coverage which the only card really on our defense right now that's being affected the most by this is our new free safety Harrison Smith you guys can see he's now boosted all the way up to a 90 overall so uh, I'm definitely liking the way like I said our defense especially our secondary is looking right now but one last look at our offense before we go ahead and jump into our head-to-head -head seasons which currently we're, we're sitting with a three and two record guys like at the end of every episode we have a different record like I, I don't understand I don't even remember playing games in between the last time but we weren't three and two last time so I, I don't know what happened but hopefully we can uh, go four and two after this game and not take another L Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you, and CD as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. So my opponent's top three is uh, looking pretty nice, not going to lie, he's got like all the three cards you were basically given at the start of the year, and he's got them all the way to the highest overall you can right now, I believe, so his team looks uh, pretty decent, so like I said earlier, I wanted to get this guy going again, and Alvin Kamara, the first play on offense, is breaking out of tackles and taking it all the nope. way to the to the two yard line not not a touchdown this dude keeps getting robbed of touchdowns man i swear he takes the first handoff of the game for 76 yards that should have been a touchdown man he got shoelace tackled now obviously the guy was probably pretty tired so our backup ricky williams came into the game and he stole this man's touchdown so very early we are going up on my opponent seven to nothing here now as we come out on defense uh first play here he's uh got his ricky williams up to a 94 overall and he's gashing our defense for a big play to start things off first and 10 now for aaron Rodgers. gotcha bitch throws an interception to our middle linebacker avery williamson guys this dude ever since he has joined our team has literally been an interception machine like he gets at least an interception every single game that I play online the, the guy is just an absolute monster now we went ahead gave it back to Alvin Kamara and his average just uh, got cut right in half as he uh, lost two yards on that play but on second and 12 Russell Wilson will find An Antonio Brown on the sideline for a pickup of a first down now play later on second and four JJ Watt gets a big hit on Alvin Kamara and he actually pushes him past the first down marker so we got a new set of downs but after taking a sack and an incomplete pass we're sitting at a third and 14 Russell everybody is absolutely locked up there's four guys on triangle right there I don't know if you guys saw it but Russell we had to scramble out of the pocket and we pick up 14 yards but we didn't get quite there it's fourth and inches and I was going to go for this guys as you can see it but once I came out and I saw the way that my opponent's defense was looking I just had like a gut feeling too like I felt like I wasn't going to get it I didn't have confidence so I was like you know what I'm gonna sit here try and draw my opponent off sides with the fake hike unfortunately it didn't work as obviously as you guys just saw so we had to go ahead and settle for our three points as we're up 10 to nothing in this game which you know I'm not mad about up two possessions on this guy already in the first quarter but as we're back out on defense Calais Campbell comes up with a big sack it is now a second and 19 and this time Aaron Rodgers finds his tight end for a big completion of about 18 yards and so now is a third and one for this guy and I, I want you guys to notice something he, he, he's running this same play over and over again I don't know if you guys have noticed it but you know just keep this in your mind when you see this formation it's going to be the same play just 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 watch out from every time he runs this play but the following play it's now Mike Daniels who is coming up with the sack so that sets up a fourth and eight for my opponent he's going to go for it testing Casey Hayward 
and our new cornerback does his job, man. He swats the pass. It's going to be an incomplete pass. That is a turnover on downs. I'm glad he didn't go for the interception because uh, that would have been like a really good punt for my opponent instead. So we set up with good field position, and this guy, Alvin Kamara, is right back at it. A nasty spin move, and once again, this dude is getting robbed of a touchdown short of the touchdown at the three-yard line. So we're going to scramble with Russell Wilson, who fumbles the ball on the one yard line are you kidding me man like russell you, you gotta hold on to that ball man at the one we just would have went up 17 to nothing on my opponent there and you know that that probably would have you know forced the rage quit but of course you know ea is trying to keep this guy alive and uh he's now on offense as you guys can see with under two minutes in the second quarter now here that looked like uh that should have not only been my user interception but then i had about three more defenders draped all over that receiver so i don't really know how we didn't come up with the pick there but it leads to a fourth and one obviously this dude's gonna go for it looking like the new orleans offense against my ravens when we played last sunday but on first and ten now how does Ramsey not pick that? Did you guys just see that play? I was holding triangle with Ramsey, jumping that route perfectly, and he just didn't put his hands up. He was like, nah, I don't want to go for the interception. I'm just going to run right by him, hope that he drops the pass or something. So he gets a big pick up to Jerry Rice here. And then on second and goal, absolutely no penetration by my defense, and Ricky Williams is walking into the end zone for the easiest touchdown ever. And my opponent, right before halftime, is right back in this game, now 7-10. to 10. So, kind of a, a little bit of an unfortunate series of events that just occurred right there. So, as we're coming back out here in the second half, obviously, like I said, game is still 10-7, to 7. and on 2nd and 6 here, you've got to be kidding me. He throws it deep to Tyreek Hill. Ramsey gets burnt. I mean, it's kind of hard to stop Tyreek, man. But just like that, out of nowhere, my opponent strikes back and is now in the lead 14 to 10. And to make things worse, what what, what am I doing, man? Like, I, I, I need new glasses or something. I don't know how I threw that interception. Like, I saw his user running to Kamara in the flats. So I was like, all right, I'm going to hit Delaney Walker here on this completion. And he gets the pick on me. And to make things even worse, the nail in the coffin. He goes ahead, trucks our new safety Harrison Smith with Derrick Henry, and goes up another touchdown. That is 21 unanswered points on our defense. And all of a sudden, it looks like we were about to force a rage quit. And now this guy is up 21 to 10 on our team. But you know what? I'm not quitting. I got to try and fight and see if we can make a comeback in this game. So first play on offense, we're going to Antonio Brown for a big-time pickup. Next play, first and 10, our backup tight end, Jimmy Graham, comes up with a big-time catch. Going all the way down now to the 20-yard line. So following that play, going five wide once again. Not going to try and scramble with Russell. Obviously, you guys saw that was bad last time that happened. But on third and three, really good man coverage once again. But this time, T.O. had his man beat. We use the playmaker, throw him up to the end zone, and we give him the pass. He's able to come up with it, and we get ourselves the touchdown. So, you know, we answered. We got points back. That's all we really needed to do. And on top of it, we went for the two-point conversion with Alvin Kamara. It is good. So now we find ourselves down just by three points. So we're back out on defense now. Gotcha, bitch. The very first play. We come up with a user interception with who else than this guy, Avery Williamson. Like, I'm telling you guys, this dude is literally an interception machine. And just like that, we have position now to go up on my opponent. And, oh, whoa, okay, Kamara, hold up. You, you got to hold on to that ball, my guy. That is now the second fumble my opponent has forced in this game. Luckily, we got this one back. But on third and four, throwing it up, high point pass to Delaney Walker right over top of that user of his middle linebacker that he was using with Ryan Chase here and we got ourselves the touchdown now all of a sudden we are back in this game 25 to 21 a little bit of a weird score but I will take it so as we're back out on defense that is going to be Calais Campbell once again coming up with a sack second and 20 uh you guys remember when I said to keep an eye out for that formation uh he's running it once again I mean this dude like, it, it was just ridiculous. Like, he literally ran one play on offense. That was it. And, you know, sometimes my defense would lock it up. We would get sacks. Sometimes, you know, it would force an incomplete pass or something like that. And then just out of nowhere, he would just get Tyreek Hill absolutely wide open, burning my defense, especially when I'm supposed to have a guy in that deep blue. I think it's actually Casey Hayward. And, you know, Tyreek Hill, he's just throwing it up deep. That's all this guy knew how to do. And, of course, in the end result is going to be a touchdown. So we find ourselves down once again, now 28-25. to 25. So on the kickoff here... We actually get to see, you know, our Tyreek Hill actually doing a little bit of something here. Getting a good return all the way at the other side of the 48. Or the other side of the 50, I should say, to the 48. On second and 14, we've got a dangerous pass to Terrell Owens here. He does come up with the catch. We are now down at the 29-yard line. Next play, going with tight end attack. 
Nobody's open. We're going with Kamara in the flats. Nice juke move. He held onto the ball, thankfully. We are now sitting at the two-minute warning with 14 seconds left. Now, I don't know if you guys just saw that. I want you guys to remember that. Keep that in the back of your minds. We just put on conservative ball carry, okay? Just, just remember that for later on in this game. But... On the first and goal, going with the toss to Kamara, and we finally give this guy his touchdown, and just like that, we are up 32-28. to 28. However, I feel like I left my opponent too much time as there's 30 seconds, and he has three timeouts, and of course, you guys know it, EA's giving this dude a chance. You know, he gets a kickoff return all the way to the 44-yard line, so he's already in decent position to go ahead and put up a touchdown, as we are up by four, so he can't win with a field goal, but of course... The only thing that this guy knows how to do is send Tyreek Hill deep, and of course he gets him wide open. I even changed up my defense. I don't know if you guys just saw it, but I'm in sitting in a cover four, and nobody's there. Like, it's just ridiculous, man. I mean, this dude, like I said, all he knew how to do was throw it deep to Tyreek Hill, and it paid off for him every single time. But wait a minute. We've got eight seconds left. We're down by three points, so we can get a field goal. And this guy went with a scummy kick. I don't know if you guys saw it, but our fullback re returns it. And he actually had a decent block, which was kind of crazy. But on first and ten here, we've got Antonio Brown wide open. He gets the catch out at the 29. There's two seconds left on the clock. And boys, we did it. We got the field goal. We got in position with such little time left on the clock. And we got it done. Tied this game up at 35-35. We are heading into overtime. And as you guys are seeing, we won the coin toss. Of course, I'm going to choose to receive this ball. I'm not giving this guy the ball back because, of course, he's just going to throw it up to deep to Tyreek Hill, and he's, of course, going to get a catch or a touchdown out of it. So, on third and five, throwing it up to our tight end, Delaney Walker, with a nasty one-handed grab there. Second and six, Russell Wilson going to continue with the passing game. We're actually going to be going with Emmanuel Sanders. That's his first catch of this game. And no. Oh, my God. He gets destroyed, and Russell, no! No! Russell gets his ankles broken, and that's how we are going to lose this game. What an unbelievable ending to this game, man. I mean, that was his third fumble that he got on my offense there, and I didn't get a single one that entire game. And remember when I said I put on conservative ball carrying? That's the first time we gave Sanders the ball. He coughs it up, and he takes it all the way for a defensive touchdown and wins the game. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I mean, obviously, that was a really good game. GG's to my opponent. He got the win. Obviously, I, I definitely think, you know, EA was helping him out a little bit there. Things started to go his way, but it, it's all good, man. Like I said, it was still a pretty good game, and I'm happy with it, but thank you guys all so much for watching, man. Hopefully, all of you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Put a thumbs up on the video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.